This is a four-minute audio descriptive introduction to the film Social Prescribing by West of England Cultural Compact. The film lasts five minutes and features organisations who run various creative social prescribing activities within the area. The speakers are not only those who run the organisations, but also those who benefit from them. The first speaker is Sue Rigby, Vice-Chancellor of Bath Spa University and Chair of the West of England Cultural Compact. She is a well-dressed white woman in her fifties, in a blue jacket and scarf, with curling chestnut hair framing her expressive face. As she tells us of the aims of social prescribing in building self-confidence and abilities, there are close-up images of a hand painting a colourful flower. Someone writes, another turns heavy earth with a spade, while others walk through a forest. Groups of people gather in art groups, painting, filming, gardening or walking. They are all different ages and types of people, smiling and talking. The second speaker is Dr Anna Farthing, Arts Programme Director, University Hospitals, Bristol and Western, NHS Foundation Trust. A slim, pale woman in her fifties, she has a grey bob and wears a bright orange jacket and matching scarf. Creativity Works is introduced by Philippa Forsey, the Creative Wellbeing Manager, also in her fifties, with a fair complexion, brown shoulder-length hair and an orange jumper. She talks of Keensham Snap and Stroll, a community-led photography project illustrated by photos of cleverly lit modernist architecture by Adrian Wyatt. As she talks of writing space, a group of people sit around a table writing in notebooks or on laptops, and a smiling woman tells us how writing space has helped her. Theatre Orchard Open Door Drama Group are shown in action, being filmed in a rehearsal room. They are introduced by Angela Athe Hunt, the engagement director of Theatre Orchard, a white woman in her late forties with wavy red hair. One of the group, John Stamp, talks of his experiences with them, a man in his early fifties with short black hair and a brown complexion. Create Together Workshop, Arts for Health, is spoken for by Helen Wheelock, founder of Create Together, who has light brown curly hair swept up from her pale face. Here, people are gathered round a table together, intently working on their paintings. One picture is featured of a delicately figured cherry tree, the blossoms standing out against a background that graduates from turquoise to purple. We move to an allotment run by Grow Ferrell and introduced by Sam Francis, their lead artist, a white woman with her brown hair nearly hidden by a red and blue woolly hat and a warm blue scarf wrapped around her neck. People are busy working, digging deep into dark brown earth beside a large plastic polytunnel, some of whom wave at the camera. A painted sign reads, Obtain a yield, with a large yellow and red sun, while white letters say, Grow Feral is a collaboration between Culture Western and Osprey Outdoors. Another sign reads, Integrate rather than separate. At Eco Wild Workshop Greyfield Woods, People gather by wooden benches to talk underneath a green planted roof held up by entire tree trunks in the middle of a field edged by forest. Their work is described by Emily Malik, director, Eco Wild CIC. She's in her mid-forties with pale skin and her straight blonde hair emerges from a colourful woolly hat. One man blows on a fire lighter and others walk through the forest to stand on a bridge over a tumbling stream. Dr Anna Farthing returns as moments from all the group's activities are shown in turn and Sue Rigby concludes the film. On screen at the moment, in white letters on a pearl grey background, are the words West of England Cultural Compact, Fresh and Creative Ways to Wellbeing and Social Prescribing. Then we hear Sue Rigby's voice over the shots of people painting, writing, gardening, walking, filming and a close-up view of forest leaves. These are just a few of the many creative social prescribing activities on offer in the West of England. If you'd like to find out more, please contact hello at culturewestern.org.uk. The West of England Cultural Compact vision is that we will create a region which is an international exemplar for the power of culture to transform lives, places and business. The logos appear of West of England Combined Authority, West of England Local Enterprise Partnership,
Culture Western and Arts Council England. This audio introduction is by Ruth James for Vocalise. Cultural Compact is an agreement between all the local authorities and the local government in the West of England and Arts Council England and we've all got together to try and find ways that culture can be applied to help people live better lives in the West. Social prescribing is a way of looking beyond an illness or beyond a problem that someone has, getting towards their own sense of self, building self-confidence, building their own abilities so that they can manage their own problems better. It's looking at the whole person and recognising the power of well-being Creative activities provide for all of the five ways to well-being. Being active, learning something new, connecting with others, giving back and expressing yourself. In NHS hospitals, we're beginning to see the benefit of prescribing people to creative activities like singing for lung health and dance for Parkinson's, and giving people opportunities to do poetry or creative writing about periods of change in their lives. Creativity Works is a charity and we've been in existence for over 40 years and we have Canesham Snap and Stroll which is a community-led photography project. We have Get Creative and we have Writing Space. There can be a, a big stigma about accepting and talking about mental health needs but the benefits of taking part in a creative activity with other people means that in that space you realise that you're not alone. And the creative process enables people to turn that into something that's a positive experience and is a form of expression that means that people from that go on to really grow and empower themselves. I came across Creativity Works uh, through recommendation from Bath Mind. It's fun, it's upbeat and lifts any thoughts of depression and this has opened my mind and helped my mental and physical balance in life. It's been an inspiration for me and I just hope it continues. One of the really important factors of our work is sustainability and longevity. So we've worked with some individuals for quite a large amount of time now who came to us in quite challenging circumstances and you can really see measured change from their participation within groups, whether that is through confidence or um, gaining skills or collaborating, working together and just finding their voice. For those of us that suffer with, for example, anxiety and depression, I think this is really a godsend actually. It's another thing, to, you know, something else to look forward to during that week. And it's also good for your confidence both in here and outside. Create Together has been going for about seven years. It's a small arts for health practice. We have funding from various funders to run groups and courses in the community. We have people come to the group who may come through a pathway of a social prescriber or a link worker or through GP practice. Benefits of Arts for Health is huge. People can just lose themselves in a piece of artwork. They can relax. It builds confidence. Um, it's building those connections. There's a wealth of evidence on the benefits to health and social care of engaging in creative activity outdoors. This allotment is run by Osprey Outdoors, and so they're an organisation that work with people who might be socially isolated. Um, do a range of activities such as like bushcraft, walk, walking groups, conservation. The benefits of um, growing vegetables together and working towards a sort of flourishing allotment site um, really brings a lot of well-being benefits to those who participate. I hear all the time how much impact it has on people's lives when they discover that they can come and take part in nature-based solutions to their physical mental health problems and it's really important that it's consistently available across the board. Research undertaken for the all-party parliamentary group report Creative Health and what's in the NHS 10-year plan shows us that these things actually save money for the health and social care sector. They're preventative and they help people get better. There's so much 
richness and expertise in social prescribing in the West of England. If we get together and share best practice and work out how to do it even better and help it to move into the mainstream of a prescribed environment so that if you go to a doctor you're as likely to be offered something cultural or something enabling as you are to be offered a pill then that's going to make a real difference in the West of England and more broadly when that good practice shares.